What's up everybody? My name's Dustin and welcome back to another episode of A Plant-Based Planet. Today we will be making a classic recipe that pretty much everybody loves no matter who you are, chicken pot pie. But it will be completely veganized, but I promise nobody will be able to tell the difference. The ingredients you will need for this are the pie crust, any vegan chicken, any bag of mixed vegetables, broth, flour, butter, milk, salt, pepper. But the crust, the chicken, the broth, the milk, and the butter all have to be veganized to make it vegan. Those are all things you have to look for if you're looking at the labels and in the ingredients. The crust, gotta look for milk, dairy, same, you know, non-dairy milk. This is a non-dairy butter. I really recommend Smart Balance, Earth Balance, either one. This is flaxseed oil. Way less calories and fat and no cholesterol. Vegan chicken, of course. And this is vegetarian, no chicken, chicken broth. It tastes just like chicken broth. There really is no difference in any of this stuff. It's just veganized. For now, first off, just cooking the chicken in the pan like you normally would. We've got the frozen vegetables in the microwave. Could do them on stove top, but I'm being way too lazy. And then I've got the first pie crust pressed in horrifically, horrendously ugly, but it it wasn't defrosted enough, so it was falling apart. That's pretty much it up until the mixture we're going to start going over here. I'll get to that in a second, and I'll explain that one as I go, because that's the most detailed part. One third cup of non-dairy butter. Throw it in the pan, get it all melted, and we'll go from there. Add one third cup of flour. One half teaspoon of salt and one quarter teaspoon pepper. Stir all of this until it's blended pretty well. Once all of that's blended, add in half a cup of your non-dairy milk and one and three quarter cups of your no chicken broth. Once that's all in, just let it cook and stir gradually so it doesn't stick. It's gotta start thickening up that can take anywhere between five and 10 minutes. Okay, it's been about seven or eight minutes. It's now to about where we're good enough. It's pretty, it's thickened up pretty good. It's starting to look like what it's supposed to. Kill the heat, add your chicken, and add your bag of mixed frozen vegetables that are now heated up. Stir everything up till it's evenly mixed and looks amazing. Once it's all mixed, just spoon it into your pie. And then we'll throw the top crust on, slice a few slits in it, and we'll be ready for the oven. And here it is ready for the oven. It's actually a little embarrassing. This has got to be the crappiest crust that I have ever purchased. It turned into a disaster. Of course, this is the one that goes on YouTube. I'm gonna do 30 minutes, roughly 30 to 35. Just watch it at 425 in the oven. So for now, we got some time to kill. So let's go see what we can get into. So the other night, I was watching TV and I saw this commercial for the newest pill that's going to save your life and reverse all the disease and call us now. Watching completely alone and I died laughing. It was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. The side effects were way worse than what it was trying to cure. And some of the side effects was the opposite of what the pill was trying to cure. Ever since going vegan, you know, roughly six months ago and opening my eyes, taking off the blinders, so to speak, I start noticing things like this more and more. Commercials like this every day and the hypocrisy behind all of it. And then right after that commercial, you're going to see two for the new Baconator or whatever's out. Just meat on top of meat on top of cheese on top of unhealthy. And then right back to this call now to save all of your health. But since everyone else is doing it and making money off of it, 
I thought, I'm gonna make a product too. Alright, alright, just give me a second, man. I'll, I'll be back to take your money. Oh! Hey, didn't see you there. My name's Big Pharma Phil, and I work with the Pharmaceutical Corporation. I'm here today to tell you about our newest breakthrough. Have you ever had bad cholesterol, high blood pressure, maybe even just wanted to lose a few pounds? Well, not anymore. That's right, I'm here to tell you about our miracle product, Scamazine. Yes, blood pressure, cholesterol, weight loss, everything you've ever wanted is cured with this. I mean, you could always just eat like you give a damn about your health, but with products that exist like this, why? And don't worry, the side effects, well, they're pretty minimal. Side effects for this blood pressure, cholesterol, and weight loss pill are... Bad blood pressure, bad cholesterol, weight gain, runny nose, dizziness, nasal sores, glaucoma, cataracts, nasal fungal infection, constipation, flatulence, vomiting, coma, death, trouble swallowing, severe diarrhea, rectal bleeding, black, bloody, tarry stool, seizure, fast heart rate, clay-colored stool, or looking like this guy. So call us today at 1-800-GIVE-US-YOUR-MONEY and order your lifetime prescription of Scamazine. I mean, products like this wouldn't have to exist if we would just eat correctly, but <laughs> hey. I know I'm not. A couple of years ago, I wouldn't have even believed myself today. You know, I think food can be magical and healing and repair the body. Yes, absolutely. And I would have never thought that. I don't know why. It's all pretty obvious. But a couple of years ago, I would have never thought that. I know I feel better. And I've got an inbox full of people who have been taking advice from me. Every one of them. I've lost 10 pounds. I've lost 15 pounds. My gout's going away. My constipation is gone. My digestive problems are better. I don't take my medicine for this, for that. I don't take my cholesterol pills, this and that. My inbox is full of stuff like that. Not one person has messaged me, taken my advice, and said, You lied to me. I'm unhealthy. I'm gaining weight. I'm sick. You freaking liar. I need my animal products. Not one, not one person has said that to me. I even have a friend who is not vegan, but bought a juicer, and in the mornings he started juicing, and he's like, I feel unbelievably better. More energy, just happier, healthier, mentally better, I smoke less cigarettes, I drink less alcohol. I mean, the proof is there. When you feed your body the correct things, it does well by you. Just giggle anytime anyone shoots me the, you need meat, bro. You need animal products to live. You gotta have meat. Protein, this, that, calcium and milk, you need all that. <sighs> no, you don't. And that's why the doctors are starting to promote vegan diets. These pills are ridiculous. Just eat healthy. <laughs> Get off the pills. They don't care about you. They just want you spending more money on doctor bills and pills. Pills and bills, boy. Let's just eat healthy. Eat your fruits and vegetables and all that stuff from the earth that grows nice and decrease the animal products even if it's overnight just less and less the meat and the dairy and step up the fruits and you'll you'll start to see things happen to your body people have reversed diabetes fibromyalgia uh, asthma people get off their inhaler i mean there's many people cannot be lying one of my friends even goes to the doctor for his bad cholesterol and is on cholesterol medicine. I asked him, did the doctor ever once maybe suggest not eating red meat or reducing the cholesterol? No. Just take these pills. <laughs> I was like, dude, if you stop eating meat, animal products are the only thing with cholesterol. Who knows what may happen? Oh my goodness, if you stop putting the bad thing that's hurting you inside you, who knows what may happen? And now he's off his cholesterol pills. So just wake up and have a smoothie, an apple, a banana, not a bacon, egg, and cheese burrito. One or two days a week and just, just see what happens. You treat your body better, it will treat you better. But at night, make dinner off this channel. Make my recipes. That's good. Here you have the final product out of the oven. Left it in there for about 30 minutes. Still the crust isn't the most beautiful. And there it is plated. I mean, it looks like chicken. I mean, it, it looks exactly how it normally would taste how it normally would. So that was chicken pot pie. I encourage everyone to try it out. I would love for people to try my recipes and send me pictures of the final product. That would be really cool. 
If you like this video, then please like it, share it with your friends, subscribe. The more subscriptions I get, the more I know people are actually watching and actually care, and I will try to pump out videos in a timely manner. I'm a very busy person, I don't get a lot of time to do this, but if I see people really care, I'm going to keep them coming, because I want people to know that it's very easy to eat vegan. So until next time, if you can eat the same but more humane, why not? Quick thank you to everyone who's been watching, liking, sharing, showing your friends, subscribing, all that. Um, the subscribers are building slowly. I'm honestly pretty shocked by that. Thank you very much. Spread it to your friends, even your non-vegan friends. That's almost more who this channel is for, just to show them, oh, I didn't know it was that easy. Because we all ate meat. We all started somewhere. So thank you. Just tell your friends. Thank you. If you got suggestions, let me know. Facebook me. Whatever. But thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like. So until the next episode, just remember there's always room to grow on a plant-based planet.